Today is Sunday, October 8th. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jan Carabeo. A lot to get to today. We'll check our forecast with meteorologist Chelsea Ingram in just a moment. But first, the latest on Nate. Correspondent Courtney Zabowski is live in Biloxi, Mississippi this morning, where the storm made its second landfall overnight. Courtney, good morning. Good morning, Jan, and the cleanup is already beginning. Crews just came by and moved out the rocks that were in the road. And as soon as the sun comes up, power companies are going to be working to get those lights back on. Right now, about 100,000 people are without power in Mississippi, in Florida, in Alabama. Meanwhile, here at these hotels, these casinos, there was water inside some of those casinos because of flooding because of the storm surge that water has since receded but they jan have a lot of work to do a lot of cleanup to do as well yeah we saw a lot of the video there describe some of the most severe impacts you're seeing along the gulf coast this morning It's got to be storm, storm surge because and the debris it left behind along one road between Gulfport and Biloxi, which is about a 15 to 20 mile stretch. We're being told by police that there are light poles in the road, that there are piers from beaches that blew off. We can't access those roads right now because there's just too much debris. We've also seen um, the flooding inside the casinos and in a parking garage. But the good news in all this is we have not heard of any casualties at this time. Jan? Definitely good news, Courtney. It seems like a lot of preparation happened in the hours and the days leading up to this. How well prepared were the Gulf areas? Very prepared, and they've been through this before, especially with Katrina in 2005, but there was a lot of sandbagging. People were boarding up their homes. People heeded the warnings. There were shelters set up. So this area along the Gulf Coast was very prepared. So much, Courtney. Courtney Zbowski reporting live for us from Biloxi, Mississippi. This morning, we'll get back to you. Thank you.